Growing up poor, all I ever wanted was a perfect Christmas. As a little kid, I'd stay up late writing wish lists by flashlight, praying Santa would bring me all the toys and gadgets I dreamed of. But I'd always wake up disappointed on Christmas morning to just a couple cheap gifts. By eighth grade, I was bitter seeing wealthier kids flaunt the expensive electronics and clothes they scored from Santa. When my parents presented me with some knockoff action figures and socks that year, humiliation and jealousy twisted my gut. I decided I would do anything to get the Christmas I deserved. Late that night, I snuck out to the neighborhood park wooded area with my list, flashlight, and ornament I'd swiped from our tree. There at midnight, I performed a little ritual I thought might summon Santa. Setting the ornament on a stump carved with crude pentagrams, I read my wish list aloud and promised I'd give anything in return for a Christmas miracle. The wind whistled through the bare trees as I waited anxiously. Just as I grew disheartened, a voice spoke from the darkness. Ho ho ho, that's quite an offer, little boy. I spun around as a large figure emerged from the shadows, the spitting image of Santa except clad in black trimmed with blood red. His cold blue eyes studied me as he smiled. I can make all your wishes come true, but the price will be your immortal soul when the time comes. Now, do we have a deal? His voice was smooth as chocolate, but something ancient glinted in his eyes. I should have run away right then. Instead, overcome with desperation, I agreed without a second thought. He chuckled, thick cigar smoke enveloping me as we shook on it. I noticed his black gloves had long twisted nails at the tips. Excellent. I'll see you on Christmas morning. With that, he evaporated into shadows, leaving only a puff of sulfur and dying echoes of laughter. I couldn't contain my excitement. This year would finally be perfect. I was too young and naive to care what bargain I had made. That Christmas day, I rushed downstairs to a twinkling tree stacked with gifts. Everything I'd only imagined receiving was there, video consoles, a dirt bike, a surround sound system bigger than me. My parents stood bewildered, having no clue where these lavish presents came from. But I knew who delivered them. Life was a dream after that. Every Christmas brought more extravagant gifts to one-up the previous year. My family grew wealthier by association, moving to a mansion, driving exotic cars. I wanted for nothing. But strange occurrences started plaguing me. Nightmares of being pursued through an icy cavern by a howling beast. Wake up with claw marks in my sheets. Feel an unseen presence lurking in my room at night. As I reached high school, I dismissed it as a bad case of hormones and insomnia. Until one Christmas Eve, home from college, when I was wrapping last-minute gifts in the home theater room and glanced up to see that hulking shadowy Santa figure, looming in the projection screen's glow. I froze. Merry Christmas, his gravelly voice jeered, eyes burning with sinister mirth. I've come to check you're satisfied with our little arrangement. His gnarled grin gave me chills. I stammered that yes, I got my wish, and please leave now. He only chuckled. Oh, I will be back. For my payment. You didn't forget the clause regarding your soul, did you? I sat there, mute with dread as the screen flicked off, leaving me in darkness. This being was not any jolly fairy tale Santa, he was something ancient and diabolical I'd made a deadly bargain with. The next few years I became obsessed with figuring out how to undo our contract. I researched obscure texts, sought out shamans, explored dark web forums, 
anything for a loophole to escape eternal damnation. But all signs pointed to the deal being ironclad. No matter how hard I tried to be a good person, I knew where my final destination would be when the time came to pay up. Last Christmas, I returned home to another bonanza of outrageous gifts perfectly tailored to my wildest desires. But now they only seem to mock me, remind me of my foolish mistake. Late that night, I went out to the old neighborhood park woods, hoping for any chance at redemption. At the stump where I had first summoned him, I called upon the being who I had known as Santa Claus. A frosty wind swirled as he appeared, just as ominous as ever. I pleaded for him to tear up our contract, release me. He simply shook his head, laughing. There are no returns on soul bargains. You asked for the perfect Christmas, and I delivered. Your end comes due this year, so I suggest making the most of what little time you have left. He vanished into smoke, maniacal ho-ho-hos echoing around me. I fell to my knees in the snow. My time was up, I had lived my best years, but would spend eternity in agony. The year passed in a flash. I tried to make amends, right my wrongs, hoping for leniency. But as Christmas came, my heart sagged knowing nothing could stop him claiming what I had carelessly traded away. On Christmas Eve, I sat alone staring at the dazzling tree surrounded by unopened gifts, waiting for the hellish visitor to arrive. The large grandfather clock in the hall tolled midnight. A searing pain shot through my chest, stealing my breath. Through the haze of agony, I saw him there smiling greedily. His gloved claws reached out as my vision faded to black, the last thing I heard a faint ho-ho-ho on the icy air. I sold my soul for foolish wishes and lived to regret it. Now I belong to the Yule Lord and King, what you may know as Santa Claus. But I learned too late he cares not for bring joy or fulfillment. Only in trapping desperate souls. So this Christmas, beware what you wish for. A malevolent spirit hears your whispered hopes. And you may wake to find you're being gifted your deepest desires at the ultimate price.